Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Android Studio on your Mac operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Android Studio. And the first link which will appear here will be from developer.android.com. We are going to click on this uh, link and when this web page opens, you will be able to see uh, straight away this download button on this uh, web page. So we are going to click on this download button, which is going to show you uh, this kind of terms and conditions page. You can read about these terms and conditions here and then scroll down at the very bottom where you need to agree with these terms and conditions. So if you agree, just check this checkbox and then you will see two buttons here. So if you are using the MacBook or Mac operating system with Intel chip, then you can click on this button. If you are using the Mac operating system with the Apple chip, for example, M1, M2, M3 or any other Apple chip, then click on this button. So I have a MacBook with an Apple chip. So I'm going to click on this Apple chip uh, button here, which is going to start the download of this DMG file. So you can see uh, at the time of uh, making this video, this file is around 1.1 gigabyte files, which is going to take some time to download. So just wait for the download to complete here. So once this DMG file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this DMG file and then I'm going to minimize this browser. So as you can see on this window, the installation process is really simple. You just need to drag this Android Studio icon into your applications folder. So if you are using your MacBook and its trackpad, you just need to press Command key on your keyboard and then select Android Studio and then drag and drop this uh, icon on your applications folder, which is going to copy Android Studio into your applications folder. You can see this copying is done now. Once the copying is done, the Android Studio is installed on our Mac operating system. And then you can click on the launch pad and then search for Android Studio here. So I'm going to just uh, search for Android Studio. You can see this icon is available here. So I'm going to click on this Android Studio icon, which is going to start the Android Studio on our Mac operating system. So first of all, you will see this kind of window which says import Android Studio settings. So if you are uh, starting Android Studio for the first time, I will recommend you to just leave this uh, radio button on do not import settings here and then click on OK. And then you will see this kind of uh, window which says help improve Android Studio. I don't want to share any uh, data with uh, Google, so I'm going to click on don't send here. And you can see this kind of Android Studio setup wizard. So at this point, I'm going to click on next here. And then I'm going to choose the standard installation type. You can also choose the custom one, but uh, I will recommend you to choose the standard one for now. And then click on next. And then you will see all these settings. So you can verify all these settings here. And then if you are happy with all those settings, click on next. And then on this next window, you will see this license agreement. So if you want, you can read these license terms and conditions. And if you agree with those license terms and conditions, click on accept here. And also select the second uh, item here in this list, which is the SDK arm and then accept here also. Okay, so you need to accept in both the sections, one for Android SDK license and other for Android SDK ARM DBT license. Once you see this finish button, click on finish, which is going to start the download of all the components which Android Studio requires for its installation. So this setting up of components uh, will only happen once when you start your Android Studio for the first time. So at this point, you just need to wait for a few seconds until this installation of all those components uh, is going on. 
and now as you can see after a few seconds I can see this finish button here so I'm going to click on this finish button which is going to start Android Studio on my Mac operating system so now Android Studio has been started on my Mac operating system at this point you can uh, start creating your uh, Android Studio project you also have uh, this more actions uh, option here so when I click on this more options uh, drop down menu I can also add a virtual device using this virtual device manager this is going to help us to visualize our uh, Android Studio project in various different devices whatever virtual device you install with your Android Studio so at this point I'm going to just click on this virtual device manager option and you can see by default this virtual device is already uh, available so I'm going to click on this run button to see if this virtual device starts so let me click on this run button which is going to start this AVD and it says launching emulator and you can see this virtual device has been started so when you start uh, this Android Studio this one virtual device comes by default if you want to install some extra virtual device then you can also click on this create virtual device option I'm going to show this in few seconds but you can see my virtual device has been started now right so you can see uh, this virtual device works similar to Android uh, devices and now when I uh, create any uh, Android Studio project I can visualize this and run this in this Android emulator right so I will just leave it like this and then uh, let me show you how you can create a new virtual device if you want for this you just need to click on create new virtual device option and then you can choose uh, the category if you want to uh, create the virtual device for phone, tablet, Wear OS, desktop and all the other categories are available here let's say I have select uh, the phone category so from this list you can select uh, any uh, option which have play store in front of them so I can select this one or this one or this one and then you can click on the next option so let me click on the next option and then for the image you need to download the image so generally we can download the image which is available at the top you can also select the other image all uh, option and you will see one of these images which is already uh, there which comes with Android Studio so you can select that also otherwise you can download the system image from this list I'm going to go to the other images and then select the one which is already available and then click on next and then you can uh, select the portrait or the landscape mode I'm going to just leave it as default and then you can also do some advanced settings here for example uh, you can select the camera network emulated performance here and also memory and storage can also be changed from here if you don't like these default values for now I'm okay so I'm going to click on finish here and you can see this new virtual device is created so this is how you can create a new virtual device so once uh, the virtual device is running let's create a new Android Studio project so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to minimize this and then on my Android Studio I'm going to click on new project here and from here I'm going to select phone and tablet so from this list I'm going to select this empty activity uh, option here so let me just select this empty activity here and then click on next then I can uh, give any name to my project for example my first application here and then you can also select the minimum SDK here right so from this list uh, you can select any SDK of your choice and it's going to show you uh, your app 
will run on approximately 96% of devices, right? So you can select these SDK depending on the API uh, number here, right? So let me select uh, any one of them. You can select this and then click on finish here, which is going to create your Android project. At this point, Android Studio is going to initialize your uh, Android project. Once your project is created, you will see uh, your app here. So you can see there are these main activity.kt file. Then you also have your manifest. So you can click on Android manifest.xml file and it's going to show you this kind of uh, Android manifest, right? Once my project is created, let me uh, launch my application into the Android emulator, which we have uh, started. So let me just uh, move it like this. And to run your application, you just need to click on this run button here. So I'm going to click on this run button, which is going to launch my application in the virtual emulator. And I can see hello Android here, right? So this is how you can run your application in your Android emulator. So this is how you can download and install and create your first Android application on your Mac operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.